Dear friends, welcome to Professionals with Passion. Today I am going to explain currency settings in SAP. Here I am going to explain the background of currency settings and what is the concept of uh, parallel currencies, what is the need of parallel currencies, what is the uh, maximum limit, uh, I can say number of currencies can we see while posting the document where to configure these settings and what is the impact of effect of parallel valuation these are the basic questions uh, i am showing here so by end of this session you are able to understand uh, these concepts and uh, whether currency codes are available in sap by default or we need to configure or uh, where can we see those currency codes in sap I'll start with currency codes. So uh, in this slide, I'm explaining currency codes. You, uh, here I have provided a uh, menu path. So where can we see these uh, currencies? Here I just highlighted few currencies, but uh, by default, um, all the currencies are available in SAP. So here INR is a currency code I'm saying. This is the currency code. It's JPY for Japanese Yen, KYD for Kuwait uh, Dinar. LKR for Sri Lankan rupee example I'm saying here so mostly all the currencies are available here and we can see these currencies uh, in this path so you need to go for SAP network thereby general settings and uh, currencies check currency codes so these are the currency codes which are already available in SAP just we need to select and we need to apply to our organization units we are going to configure okay here i am uh, going to explain uh, so uh, it is understood that currency codes are available by default and uh, what are the types of currencies in sap so we can say group currency company code currency, hard currency and index based currency. So when we are going to use and what is the purpose I'll explain in next slide and we can see currency types as well. So currency types I am mentioning 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Here I am mentioning codes. These are the currency type codes so which are by default available in SAP. So oh, 10 refers to company code currency and 20 refers to controlling area currency. 30 refers to group so in the similar way I provided here and uh, I am going to explain the currencies so group currency where we can configure uh, it's like group currency is at uh, client level and the company code currency is at company code level like uh, the currency of a company code countries uh, currency like uh, it is located where the company is located and uh, that currency uh, a refers to that company code currency in which local uh, the currency of the company code in which the local ledgers are managed what is the meaning of hard currency where we can define this currency hard currency we are defining at country level so country specific settings if you are going uh, then where you can find uh, hard currency hard currency is generally used in uh, countries with high inflation and index based currency it is also uh, we are defining this uh, index based currency also in country based settings uh, index based currency is, uh, is uh, stipulated for external reporting for example tax returns in some countries with high inflation so these settings I will show in SAP uh, in later stage. So here I am explaining the concepts. The, uh, next we are going to see parallel currencies in parallel ledgers. So this is a, a interesting topic so which is uh, really required uh, for a consultant to uh, understand in deep because he need to explain to the customer or uh, client so 
where uh, uh, he has to address the issues related to currencies and while defining the company code while uh, finalizing the organization structure uh, this will play a major role because everything is depends on a currency settings and uh, these are the basic settings uh, we are going to finalize so parallel currencies so we can perform what is the use actually so we can perform valuations or closing operations for a company code according to the accounting principles of the group as well as other country principles such as local accounting principles so whenever you are performing something so the valuation should happen as per the accounting standards as per the accounting standard of the group as well as uh, accounting standard of, uh, as per the local accounting standard okay so to get the results in multiple currencies so for example if you are posting one document whenever you are posting one document in uh, inr it should uh, appear that uh, result translation also in sap in different currency so if you are posting document in uh, company code currency if you want to see the result in the controlling area currency or group currency or somewhere so by default system will, will show that so you need not uh, do any uh, thing at user level so if you are configuring the system in such a manner uh, according to the requirement so you will get the result okay i'll show where we need to configure those also parallel currencies in parallel ledgers in financial accounting in addition to the local currency you can define maximum of two parallel currencies for your company code that means three com- uh, three currencies we can see in addition to local currency you can define maximum of two parallel currencies for your company code if your company code is located at uh, india inr is the currency so uh, you can see the result in usd if the branch is in uh, us and uh, different like kuwait if you are having that currency also you can see but that settings should be uh, placed in the systems here i am showing uh, country level setting so you see india have taken for example for one company code like uh, here it is in india in is a india country code for this current uh, for this country i have mentioned uh, index based currency as japan and usd just for an example i have taken these currencies these settings are really not required or not mandatory so we can define or not so uh, if the company is really required uh, for the country it is really required then only we can uh, maintain uh, these currencies as per the business requirement so indexed based currency and hard currency is uh, not really required it's not mandatory it's optional okay for india it is showing uh, uh, here we maintained it is a test system we maintained this one okay where we can maintain uh, sap network img and uh, general settings set countries defined countries in my sap system okay and defining exchange rates as we understood that if you are posting one document in inr the document is getting posted in us dollar as well so where we are defining those things so those things we are uh, ma- maintaining in uh, the for that some exchange rate should be there the exchange rate we are maintaining here in under currency settings okay so here we are maintaining enter exchange rate so ob08 is the transaction code for that defining controlling area here i wanted to explain this uh, settings whatever the currency settings we uh, have seen that i i wanted to show here here uh, if you are going for the uh, defining controlling area here there are uh, options are there we can uh, company code to controlling area cross company code casting we have selected here or we can select a company code as uh, same for that uh, uh, we need to select different currency types here company code currency also we can choose for controlling area 
uh, are different thing like uh, if you wanted to see the result in different things you can uh, define these things 20 or 30 uh, define different thing we can configure so here while con- defining the controlling area we can see these uh, currency types currency types here uh, i mentioned here so the, uh, these things we can select so uh, meanwhile i will log on to sap and i will show the settings in sap as well thank you